Good morning, friends. The mysterious word. One Thessalonians chapter two verses thirteen to twenty. Jeremiah saw that the word of God came to him like a burning in his bones. Elijah declared that the word of God came to him like a still small voice. Daniel said that the God spoke to him in visions and dreams in the night. Moses said that when God communicated with him, he spoke to him face to face like a man speaks to his friends. Paul earnestly believed and taught others that God had spoken to man and that we have recorded his word of God. Paul believed in speaking God's word to mankind with authority of eternity that speaks above mere human opinion. Since today we do have this word of God, we have a true voice of authority. The people in Thessalonian church were willing to undergo sufferings for the sake of the gospel. Because they were convinced that Paul brought them not the word of man but the word of God. The word of man isn't worth suffering for, but a true message from God is worth it. Paul comforted these suffering Christians with an assurance that they were not the first to suffer this way. The Lord Jesus faced persecution and the Christians in Judea faced it first. Paul's desire was to meet the church again in person, but he had hindrances. Paul understood that it was satanic hindrance. He had the discernment to know this was a direct attack from Satan. Paul had faith and knew it would only be a short time until he can overcome the roadblocks. God brought victory eventually. Acts 20 verses 1 to 5 describes Paul eventually returning to Thessalonica and other churches in that area. Dear brothers and sisters, every man who shares the gospel should carefully understand and examine himself by it. We must be willing to speak the truth with authority. We must be willing to suffer if needed for the sake of the gospel. We must fight against evil forces for advancement of the kingdom always. Prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for the ability that you have given us to endure and speak with authority. Stand against the evil forces. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.